How's it going, everyone? So I'm in here um, in the new garden area, um, about to plant our um, first crop of corn in our new beds. Now, in my previous video, I did um, explain how these new beds are actually um, air pruning beds. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how this corn um, will do. Um, if it will grow better than, um, say, if I grow another um, small crop of corn in my other um, garden beds, which I would like to try just to see the comparison. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing um, how that will go. Now I'm also going to be um, planting beans with these, so it's um, sort of like an Aztec plot as well. Um, this way they just complement each other, um, and I'll probably explain that um, further in the video. Okay, so this soil that I've got here is a really good starting base, except it is lacking a lot of organic matter. So first things first, I'm going to put in um, two bucketfuls of compost, and just slightly dig that into the surface. Okay, so the compost is all dug in. Now, by adding compost, this really helps um, increase the life of this soil. It adds in a lot of microorganisms um, as well as, as a lot of worms. I've just found one already right here. Um, so, I, this is the same compost that I use um, to start my worm farm. Um, so, obviously, it is chock a block full of worms, um, eggs, so it'll be like a really good, this will give it a really good um, kickstart. So, I've got my corn seedlings here. These are just ordinary um, sweet corn. Um, seeds that I've just grown from seed myself. So I'm going to be um, planting them pretty close. You usually plant corn close anyway, but because this is also now the air pruning bed, I will be planting them a bit closer. Okay, so all my corn seedlings are now planted in. Now I'm going to get my Blue Lake climbing beans here and just plant one um, right next to um, each of them. So this is like um, part of like an Aztec plot um, and basically what this does is companion planting. And so really for, th for this example, the corn, they love, they're very, very hungry plants. They love a lot of nitrogen um, and a lot of nutrients. Um, so as you know, beans are part of the legume family. So this means that when they, um, they're in their roots, they have nodules on their roots that um, fix nitrogen into the soil. So this um, gives the corn a lot of nitrogen um, and also provides the beans with um, pretty much like a trellis or like a, um, a support to climb up. Okay, so the beans are all planted in. Now, it's, if you want to try this, it's um, it's much better if you plant the beans um, when you plant corn seedlings, not corn seeds. This way the corn has a bit of an opportunity to grow a bit before the um, bean seedlings emerge, um, germinate, and um, then they can just pretty much grow um, near the same rate um, and just always, they will always have something to climb up. So now that they're all planted in, I'm gonna move over and plant my second lot um, of corn. Now this is the variety um, breakthrough so it's a super um super sweet corn um much it'll be much sweeter than this normal sweet corn um and so i'm going to be planting this from seed now the reason i'm planting this one from seed is because this way it allows um this corn to um pollinate before um this variety does so they don't cross pollinate because i want to keep them true to seed as close as i can so i'm going to be planting them um same distance apart um, just one seed in each hole because I don't really get um, many um, from this Just as to not waste it And about probably a knuckle deep um, So that's probably like two centimeters um, a bit under an eight inch deep Okay, so that second lot of corn is now all planted. And if you saw me sort of moving my hand like this, I know it was sped up, but if you saw me moving my hand like this, I was creating little trenches. Um, this way, when I do hand water it, the water will just sit in here instead of spilling it everywhere. Um, so it's a bit more efficient. And it will just sit in here, soak down, um, and just go directly to the plant's roots. 
Now, when you're planting corn, it's very important um, to make sure that you plant them in blocks. If you see here in just my seedling, so you get a better idea, they are in blocks. There's four rows of five in each row. Um, and then in here, I've done five or six in each row. Um, this way, um, they get pollinated much better because they are wind pollinated. So as the wind blows, sprays, um, sorry, moves the pollen all over to the other plants. That way you get more corn. Okay, so that's about it. All I um, really need to do is give it a good water, except I'm not going to do that um, just because there is a front coming along. We've had a really nice day here. Um, we've actually had a couple of really nice days, but we are going to be um, getting thunderstorms tomorrow and obviously um, a lot of rain tonight. Like you can even just um, sense it in the air and just like smell it. Um, so this will get a really good water, um, just really soak those seeds and it'll just help them to germinate, get off to a really good start. If we get some more lovely weather like this, this will grow um, so quickly and we'll be getting um, our first corn in probably three months. Um, so I probably will be planting some other corn in um, the other garden area. I probably won't film it, but I will uh, be giving you updates um, just to see the comparison, um, to see if like the air pruning this does actually act as an air pruning and they do produce much stronger, healthier plants and obviously better tasting corn. Um, just also a little um, tip, um, I have found that the more water you give your corn, um, the sweeter and juicier it's going to be. Um, I know that some people might be living um, in areas with water restrictions, but just use it really efficiently um, and just so it goes straight to the um, plant's roots and you'll be harvesting some really nice corn. So that's it guys, that is my main corn planted um, for 2016. Um, so if you like the video, please leave a big thumbs up. Um, if you have any comments, suggestions or questions for me about um, the corn or anything else, um, pop them in the comments box below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and if you haven't clicked subscribe, make sure you do that just to stay um, updated on the corn and other videos that I've got going on in my channel. And thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.